Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I got this one a lot. Now I have two different tutorials on creating rolling titles and then word processing tips for justification. But then the next question I got was how to control the speed. This is rolling title speed control in Adobe Premiere Pro. So I'll have a link at the end for, and the links are in the description for the other two tutorials. Um, so I'm not gonna go through how to create the rolling titles, but when you create a rolling or crawling title, uh, the speed is based on the length of the title. So if you change the duration and make it longer, the titles are slower. Make it shorter, the titles are faster. But what I, I get a lot is, okay, great, I, that's okay, that can help me with my speed, but what happens if I want to stop? at the end or stop or change the speed in between. Well, we're just going to use the regular time wrap mapping controls in a nested sequence. You can do this with a title, but I've crashed when I try to make it go to anything lower than 23%. When I go, want to go to zero to stop, I crash the title. So I'm going to create a nested title, a nested sequence with the title. Piece of cake, won't believe how easy this is. Let's have a look. So here is a sequence with a title. And as I said, the, the duration here is the speed. And I stuck in a logo at the end. This logo, if I double click, is actually inside the text. So you can right click in the text and, and drop that in. So you insert a graphic. Uh, this happens to be a PNG file, a ping file. And I dropped it in. Little tip here, the Paramount logo actually is black. On white, I wanted white on black. If you open the ping in Photoshop as a native transparent ping, control I, command I on the Mac, it inverts the colors, boom, done. I didn't touch a pixel. Resave it and then I drop it in. Okay, so like I said, if we right click on here and choose time remapping on the title, you can change that. I tried this and it crashed every time below 23%. So I'm not gonna do it that way. Instead, I'm gonna right click and make a nest and call this nested title. Now we're looking at the nested title and you can see the color of this clip has changed. If we go to time remapping and show speed, we're going to be doing the same thing. Just so you get an understanding of a nested clip, a nested clip is pointing to the other sequence um, and the title is in that sequence. So as far as Premiere Pro is concerned, there's no difference between this and a video or anything that's rendered out. It doesn't know or care that it's a title. That's why we can kind of tweak the, the uh, speed a little bit easier without any errors. So I'll just go to the position right around that area. And with this open, I'm holding the control key, command on Mac, and you'll see I get a little plus showing up and I'll click. Now, this adds a speed control, but it doesn't change the speed. On the left is 100%, on the right is 100%. If I drag this middle down, you can see I can go all the way down to 1%, which is essentially stopping it. And if we play this back, you can see it stops. It's a little bit abrupt though. See how it just, bang, it stops right there. So I'm gonna zoom in and move my mouse over top of this. And this is a special kind of keyframe. If you haven't worked with these keyframes, this is a speed ramp. So I'm going from 100% to 0%, well, actually 1%. And then this middle section is where it ramps down. So now it's going to be more like an ease in. See that? It eases in. If the position, if this is happening too late or too soon, if you move your mouse into this area, carefully move this around, you can have this start a little earlier, which means it's going to slow down sooner. See, uh, now it's where that logo is in the center. Maybe I, it's still a little bit too abrupt. So I'll pull this over here. Now that's nice. Final credits come in, it rolls in and whoop, slows down. Maybe I want to fade at this point. You know, the easiest way to do that, hit the W key, that trims it. 
and Control D, Command D on, on the Mac puts in a default transition, which is the cross dissolve. So now let's look at this. Logo comes in, slows down, stays on the screen, and then fades out. Told you it was pretty easy. So using the time remapping controls on a nested title, nested sequence with a title in it, works much better. You can try just using the time remapping on a title, but I guarantee she's going to blow up on you. You want to see me blow it up? Okay, let's, let's watch it blow up. Here's the title. So if I double click on it, it's not the nested sequence. It's the title. Watch this. I'll turn on speed, I'll put that in, I'll drag this down. You see how it only goes to a certain amount, 38, 29, 23, and get ready for it. Okay, now you're not going to do it on me. Oh, there you go. There's my error every single time I try to do the time remapping to the title. Obviously, it's a bug, probably won't get fixed, so use a, a nested sequence instead. If you're new to Video Reveal, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us a little bit more, join us on Patreon for as little as $1 a month. Hopefully, you found this informative. My name is Colin Smith. It's my job to get you 